Carmen Marton comes from a family that knows how to fight. The daughter of Polish refugees, Marton made history in 2013, becoming Australia's first Taekwondo world champion. That's my childhood dream, like as soon as I was, um, I think, walking around seeing my sister train and only being three or four years old, I knew that, you know, I wanted to be the world champion. The year she won, both her brother and sister also made the Australian Taekwondo team, raising a few questions. Yeah, the first question they always ask is, how many fights do we have at home and who wins all the fights? Next month he'll be supporting his sisters at the Oceania Olympic qualifiers in PNG. Marton hoping for a chance at redemption after narrowly missing out on a medal in London. I knew that I had the capability to come away with a medal and to come away with nothing just crushed me. Her husband, fellow Australian Taekwondo athlete Safwan Khalil, also hoping to win a ticket to Rio. But Marton says the Olympics are strictly business. It's not a honeymoon if you have to train. <laughs> Australia's sending four Taekwondo athletes to Rio in the hopes of backing up the two medals we took in the sport at the Sydney 2000 Games. Australia's chef de mission says if we want to make the top five in the medal tally, we need to cast a wide net. But we can't just rely on the traditional sports of swimming and cycling, track cycling and sailing to get us into that top five. And Marton's coach is confident she can deliver. And I suspect if all goes well, she's well up there to win at least one medal. And we're talking about the medal, the gold medal. It won't maintain, sustain me throughout the day if I'm happy with any medal. I know it has to be gold. Fulfilling a plan that's been years in the making. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.